hi guys and welcome to Code with the Ditya and what we're gonna do is go to scratch we're gonna do some scratch today um, in the series and first thing we're gonna follow the projects at raspberrypi.org tutorial so go to that into the link the link is in the description or you can type it in click browse all projects and then do scratch in the software right there and level creator and then we're going to do the ADAS poetry generator today. So um, go there and then go to scratch.mit.edu, create an account, which is pretty simple. And um, it should be like this when you go to the page. And what you need to do is click next to introduction. And then what you need to do is... Um, see where it says online open starter project um open that i'm just going to open it in a new tab like this and then okay should load okay and then click the remix button so you can make changes okay so um, now we're going to follow the tutorial. So click on the Ada sprite, right? this Ada sprite right here. And then go to events and then when the sprite is clicked. So when the sprite is clicked basically s says um, that when this thing is clicked, it will do something. And then scroll down and then say hello for two seconds. So just drag it in. And then if you click on it, then it should say hello like that and then keep going so now this is a challenge so basically what it it's asking you to do is um instead of saying uh hello say hi i'm ada so just in the place where it says say hello just put hi um i'm ada like that um, and then now we're going to do some input. So like, um, in the sensing tab right here, um, add, ask what's your name and then wait. So what that's going to do, it's going to say, hi, I'm Ada. And it's going to ask you what's your name and wait until you put it in. Okay. And, um, so now we keep going, follow it. And then now we're going to do variables. So what variables are, are um, places where you can store information like change it take data from it and then um, uh, use the data so basically you go to the variables tab click make a variable um, for all sprites and name the variable name so here okay that's not good okay I accidentally did that wrong name so that is like that, and then put dragon set name to zero, and then we're gonna keep following, and then this this block, the ask block, um, uh, sh stores the thing in a answer variable that it already has in a scratch. So if you go into sensing again, there should be answer here, so like that. And now if we go keep going, um. If we if we try it out, then should put the variable as our name. So Aditya, click that, and now the name variables Aditya. So if you want to hide the variable, just go um, into the variables and the check mark next to the variable, then it will hide it. So next, um, we're gonna say hi to you, and then just go to looks, and then say hi. And then go to join, like it says here, in operators. Join is in operators, um, which is basically like um, math or like join blocks and stuff. And what you need to do is just say hi and then put a space because then it doesn't automatically add a space. Go to variables and then drag in name. So it's going to say, hi, your name. So if we try it out, it's going to say, hi, I'm Ada. What's your name? Let's say Aditya. And then, oh, caps lock. 
okay and it's gonna say hide it to you that's basically what we have now keep going and let's see let's just say that and now um, we're gonna do the computer analytical engine part of it so the last thing we have to do here is do say clip the clip the computer click the computer um to generate a poem write a poem okay so that's we can let's test this part out now it's gonna say hi I'm Ada it's gonna ask our name and then it's gonna say click the computer generate poem now we need to code that part of it so if we keep going to the next part so now click on the computer sprite in the sprites tab and then um, drag the same block when this sprite clicked uh, and then add um, here's your poem so we do a say and then here here's your poem okay that's not how you spell that okay let's see like that and what you need to do next is um make a list so lists are like variables but with a bunch of variables inside it um so we go here and then press make a list and then name the list verbs okay and then click the plus right here um there should be a plus and then put your verbs in so laugh um click plus again dance and burp okay and then you can hide it clicking the arrow and then so we're going to do go to operator again so you see where it says pick random so drag pick random out and then go to variables and drag item so it says item right here so item one of verbs so drag pick random into one where one it where one is and there should be like a white highlighted box when it, you can just snap it and it should automatically go in and pick random one to length of verbs so one to how long verbs is and then oh no i just did that okay whenever you do that you can just do Control z and then we can zoom in more so what we need to do next is join um join i like this and put i right there with a space so there's a space in there and then you see where it says um so you put b banana the item code into banana and then change apple to i space and then um and then we're gonna drag a say block in and then put this in the place where it says hello so now what we're gonna do is um, try it out so if we try it out it should be like um, so it's, it's gonna say hi I'm Ada and then what's your name and then click the computer generate a poem so it should be here's your poem and then it should say I burp or if we try it again it should say a different one like I dance because of our the ones we put in our list I yeah that's what we have now and then we're gonna add some more verbs so now we're gonna add adverbs so create a new list in variables um, called adverbs and then press plus to name it and then put like loudly um, come okay loudly uh silently uh 
endlessly. Okay. And now you can just click on the check mark next to it to hide it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing. So what you can do is where it says item, right click on item and then do duplicate. And then drag in a save block, save block right here. And then um, drag in the one you du duplicated and then drag it into where it says hello. So now um, instead of saying length of verbs, put length of adverbs and then um, instead of saying of verbs put say adverbs so now it should say now if we click the poem it's gonna say here's your poem I dance endlessly and then if we do it again um, it should say I dance loudly so that's what we have so far. Now we're going to add more. So we're going to add nouns now. So make a new list in the variables tab called nouns. And by the way, if this is too fast for you, you can pause at any time. So nouns add C um, moon and tree and you can hide it by clicking the check mark and then now what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy the first one where it says say join I now copy that duplicate so right click and duplicate and then drag it here and it's, it's gonna like do it um, it's gonna copy these two too so drag the last one out and then drag it into here to delete it and then it should say join I so instead of I do by the space so it doesn't look stuck together and then instead of length of verbs now do length of nouns and then instead of, of verbs do of nouns okay um so now if we click on the poem generator, analytical engine, it says, here's your poem. I burp silently by the tree. So we have that so far. We're going to add one more, um, which is adjectives. So make another list in the po here and do adjectives. Okay, and then do happy um tired tired and hungry okay and then you can click on the checkbox to hide it and then now what we need to do is um copy the one we just did so right click on say duplicate drag it down and then instead of join by the we'll put um, I feel space okay and then um, now we, instead of nouns we put adjectives and instead of of nouns we put adjectives so now it should it should give us a poem when we click on the computer. By the tree. I feel tired. Yeah, okay. So that's that's basically the main part of it. Now we're just going to add some um, extras. So now we're going to animate the analytical engine. So go to control, repeat. So repeat is basically a loop that it does the same thing you um, uh, give it to 10 times so um drag it right under here's your poem and i'm um, just going to repeat it 10 times so drag in turn 15 degrees so five instead of 15 15 degrees five and then do weight 
dragging a weight from control in there and then do instead of one do zero point one and then um drag in the other other turn block um oh no the opposite the opposite turn block like right and left and then t make that five and then we can copy the weight or just drag a new one in and if you accidentally if you accidentally like um let's just complete okay if you accidentally like turn it wait okay if you accidentally um do this and then do like this and then if you turn it and if it goes like that so where it says direction 40 just change that to 90 and then should fix it and then you can just add this back in i just did that to demonstrate okay and um so now if we click on the computer it will like shake like doing the computer stuff and then it'll give you your poem okay now we're going to add some sounds so it, it sounds like an actual computer so go to sounds tab right up here and then click choose a sound like this right here and then click the library and then what we need to do is search up computer and then click the first one like that and um so if you play it it's going to sound like that like and then what we do is go to costumes i mean not costumes code and then go to sound and then start sound computer beep right under say here's your poem so now um that's basically it and uh what we can do is try it all out so if we click ada it's gonna say hi i'm ada what's your name um aditya okay it's three a's click on the computer to generate your poem and it's going to say, here's your poem. And it's going to do the computer stuff. And then it'll give you the poem. So here's the challenge. Another challenge is um, add, here's your poem, Sophia. So personalize, personalize it. And then what all we need to do is to do that is um, go to operators, join, and type in here's your poem your poem uh and then put space so it okay let's do that control z okay yeah okay and then drag in from variables name so it's going to say here's your poem and then the person's name. So if we try it again, oh, yeah, put a space. Don't forget to put a space. Okay, so now if we try it again, let's see, hi, I'm Ada, and then what's your name? A-A-D-I-T-Y-A. -A -A. Let's put something else this time, Jeff. And then, hi, Jeff. Click the computer generate a poem. And now it's gonna say, here's your poem, Jeff. And then it'll give you your poem. And now this challenge um, you can do by yourself. You can add more words to your list so you can generate more poems. And another challenge is um, to add more lists. So like you can add um, like instead of adjectives, you can add like pronouns or like other other things. So. That's it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next Scratch tutorial.